Well, hello everybody. And uh, today I am uh, here in Tyresta uh, and I'm just taking a small hike. I was thinking of trying out my gear because I haven't tried it yet. So I brought like everything I have and everything that I need for uh, for uh, a camping for for a night over in the forests and uh, I figure I'll just uh, take a small hike roughly eight kilometers round a uh, trip and uh, set up base camp and just try the gear out and uh, I'll probably do some photographing as well during the sunset yeah so uh, today uh, I brought a friend so I have some company during my hike that is uh, Simon over there, um, a good friend of mine and uh, joining me today for this small adventure that I'm doing. He's uh, actually the creator of, uh, of an app called uh, RepCount, right? Yep. The RepCount app. It's a great app to track your workouts when you're uh, lifting weights. And yeah, as I mentioned earlier, the plan is to hike and not to get lost, which we just did over there. <laughs> and uh, hike this uh, trail in the in the Tyresta National Park. It's called it's a it's not a nature preserve. It's a natural national park, which means that it's completely untouched, and you're not really allowed to do a lot of things here. Uh, basically, there are some base camp areas that are set up in this huge forest where you can uh, set up camp or cook your food like make a fire if it's permitted so it's a uh, it's a really rough forest it's really untouched forest and it's really beautiful and also a bit hard to hike as you can hear i am i'm in my worst shape ever thanks to the situation out there and to the small kids that I just bred <laughs> and so I haven't had time or opportunity to go to the gym and work out very much so this is a bit of a challenge for me because the the pack is around 18 kilos and the the trail that I'm following will be around four kilometers up and then four kilometers back to the car which isn't much actually it's quite little but uh, for me that don't have much experience in uh, hiking with a backpack this heavy it's uh, a bit challenging but I think I'll manage and uh, the reason that it's 18 kilograms is because I have brought a lot of uh, camera gear. I brought my, uh, oh, whoops, now it's getting a bit. Yeah, so the reason that uh, I have like 18 kilos on my back is just to simulate uh, a night over because I'll probably carry a lot of water in the beginning. So I brought some extra gear with me today. I know that there are sightings of the eagle where we're going near the base camp so i brought my new tamron super zoom and my 24 70 millimeter f 2.8 l series lens probably for some landscape i'll just try to find some good composition when i set up base camp and uh, see how the light turns out but it looks good so far yeah, so just uh, continue this hike. I think about two more kilometers to go, something, and uh, should set up tent soon. Yeah, so this is fun things that happen when you're out uh, on adventure. Uh, we accidentally took a wrong path and uh, came to this uh, big uh, big road instead and we were just following it for like uh, 500 meters and uh, we came up with this so it rained a lot yesterday uh, it 
really pour down apparently and uh, yeah there is something to cross here also i just broke uh, my uh, microphone as well i think a screw uh, i dropped the screw and uh, so it's kind of loose so i'm have to hold the camera like this for now on because there's nothing holding the microphone in place otherwise but what are you gonna do Okay, so here we are. We've just reached our destination after uh, about four kilometers hike in uh, pretty rough uh, paths sometimes. And uh, yeah, but uh, here we are. This is a place where you can sleep over if you want. I just wanted to check this area out because I might, uh, I might stay the night here sometime. Um, you can either use one of these shelters that ordered here or you can set up a tent somewhere in this area here whatever you want but yeah so i'm just gonna try the tent now and the equipment and set it up somewhere here just to try it and then uh, do some photography and eat eat <laughs> that's something that we want to do yeah So now I just set up the tent, um, this is my first time doing uh, this specific tent, so I'm a bit of a new to it still, but uh, I have seen uh, plenty of tutorials online to know roughly what I'm doing. But it's, uh, it's an awesome tent, I love it, I think, oh, I think I'm really sure I'm gonna sleep well in this tent. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bother doing anything else uh, right now, like... Uh, put out the sleeping bag and stuff I have it with me uh, but uh, it's getting a bit late and it's time to cook some food and uh, photograph a little bit before we start hiking back home yeah here we are <laughs> um, just uh, eating a little bit um, I'm thinking this is yeah this is tikka masala really nice actually it's my first uh, my first um, one that I'm eating I, I I'm enjoying it we have some uh, company here with um, <laughs> with the ducks um, wanting some food Yeah, but uh, I don't know, there's not much to photograph here. Um, a lot of open space and uh, a lot of uh, water and not much interesting things to photograph. I don't know, I feel a bit uh, happy with this uh, adventure. I wanted to try it my gear, I wanted to hike these uh, four kilometers to see if I could make it. I still have four kilometers to go back home, but I'm... Um, with food and with some rest and uh, this beautiful view, I think uh, I think it's gonna be fine. <laughs> uh, we'll see if I take a photograph, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe a panorama when the sun is setting even more. We'll see. But uh, yeah, if I don't take a photograph, then 
Thanks for watching and if you like this video do give it a like it helps a lot and if you want to see more of my upcoming content don't forget to subscribe and uh, as usual thoughts and suggestions and uh, whatever is always welcome in the comment section all right yeah bye for now So I was uh, on my way home and uh, I noticed this really beautiful place here and uh, the wind has dropped which is why I'm waving a lot. Uh, there's plenty of, uh, I don't know what they call them in English, uh, I will put it somewhere around here. Um, but I found this uh, area here with uh, like layers, like it's wave layers uh, of uh, water and land. And the light is really really beautiful so I set up my Lee big stopper and uh, try to make this really fast two second timer big stopper um, polarization filter 30 seconds exposure and uh, being eaten up by bugs but yeah so it's a uh, very very nice here. So this is the last uh, video before I will be eaten by these bugs. <laughs> Hopefully the image is good enough but uh, you'll see it very soon.